life flows on the river of purpose. We're all carried by the uncertainty of its own unfolding. Chasing purpose is all about nurturing faith, setting intentions, pursuing aspirations, all while living boldly. Chasing Purpose aims to inspire, uplift, and empower people through real life stories. Stories that encapsulate life's memorable moments and enduring life lessons. Chasing Purpose with host Sintashe. Easter is a major holiday in the Christian faith, celebrated by many the world over. Easter is a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And while Easter is a time for celebration, I believe it is also a time for reflection and preparation. The week leading up to Jesus being crucified on the cross for his beliefs, he was lauded with palms and praise. He attended a dinner engagement where his feet were washed with perfumes and oils by women who loved him and believed in his teachings. He had his last meal with his disciples whom he had come to love as brothers. Through it all, he knew these very same people would deny, betray, and watch him die on the cross. And even knowing what his faith was, Jesus forgave. Jesus forgave. Happy and blessed Easter from our family to yours. Welcome to Chasing Purpose, a journey of self-development, self-love, healing, and spirituality. We aim to empower and uplift you through thought-provoking conversation surrounding our four pillars, nurturing faith, pursuing aspirations, setting intentions, all while we are living boldly. On last week's show, we were joined by heart disease advocate Abby Gay Smythe, who shared with us how she has been defying her odds. Here is this week's Purpose Pull. I made the choice to turn my pain into passion and purpose. Yes. I mean, I could have turned my pain into anger and saying, God, why me every single day? But yes, a part of my purpose mm -hmm. It's to raise awareness for heart disease and to help other people. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chasing Purpose with Cynthia Shea Clark. There you will find all of our episodes and also join our community at purposeiswithin.com. We are joined by the Reverend Al Miller, Senior Pastor of Whole Life Ministries. He is widely known for his radical and righteous talk and walk on individual purpose and transformation as a precursor to national transformation. Reverend Al Miller, welcome to Chasing Purpose. Thank you so much. An absolute pleasure and joy to absolute be here. Glad me there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'm happy you are here. I know we're going Thank to you. have an amazing conversation. So my Purpose or community, ensure to grab your journals, your pens, because I am sure knowledge and wisdom is going to be dropped on today's show. I want to focus on the days leading up to the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. um, a lot happened in that week mm -hmm. um, where Christ, you know, s came into, and, and just let me, let me just put out a disclaimer. I am not the, a Bible scholar. Uh, yeah, I do my Bible reading. I'm a very, I'm Christian. I am spiritual. However, <laughs> I am not the one. Hence why we have Reverend Miller to bring some um, clarity to some things. Right? But I are not the one either. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we do a thing. Yeah, we, we'll, 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 do a thing. We we'll do a thing. We'll do a yes. thing. We'll do a thing. So the week leading up to um, Easter, Easter or to the mm -hmm. resurrection of, yes. of, of Christ, uh, there are a lot of events that happened. I mm -hmm. want you to take us through the series of events and the significance of these events. Okay. Maybe there is a place that maybe we should begin mm -hmm. that we often don't begin when we think Easter mm -hmm. because Easter became for us a development after mm -hmm. and so named. But Easter is really celebrating the re biblically the Passover, okay. you know, and which the Jews celebrate particularly mm -hmm. at this time. Mm -hmm. And so they have a whole week of celebration. Mm -hmm. But the began really remember from going back in the Old Testament in the book of Exodus mm -hmm. when they which is what it was symbolic of mm -hmm. because Jesus Christ is the Passover lamb who is representing the Passover in Egypt when the children of, of Israel was in bondage mm -hmm. for 400 years mm -hmm. in Egypt mm -hmm. and then God visited them mm -hmm under the whip of the slave master mm -hmm. when he says, I've seen your affliction, 
I have heard your cry mm -hmm. and I have come down to deliver. Mm -hmm. And you may recall that there were 10 plagues yes. in Egypt. Yes. All of that happened within these two weeks leading up to what we celebrate as Passover today. Okay. So the 10 plagues in Egypt, and it is the final plague which was the death of the firstborn oh, yes. of all in Egypt. And then that night they fled from Egypt and Pharaoh eventually says, in yeah. typical Jamaican, uno go on boat, yeah. <laughs> uno business. And that's how he drove them out. Mm -hmm. So that last week mm -hmm. is talking about or picking up that fundamental principle okay. so that Jesus entering that last week is that week of activities mm -hmm. that now leads to his eventual death mm -hmm. and then the resurrection after. So in the New Testament we pick up that account where mm -hmm. he is riding into, mm -hmm. in, in, into Jerusalem mm -hmm. and he comes riding on a donkey yeah. that speaks, of course, of humility, mm -hmm. etc. Because mm -hmm. the kingdom of God, the, the centerpiece of God's kingdom is humility. Mm -hmm. Because he was coming to deal with the pomp and pride yeah. in the hearts of men. That they would recognize that there is a greater than you. So it's about honoring God. But to honor God, you have to submit yourself in a spirit and attitude of humility. So Jesus epitomized the humility and the way all the, the branches that they were waving. And the people then began to, to, to sing, mm -hmm. Hosanna mm -hmm. in the highest, mm -hmm. Hosanna, peace on earth mm -hmm. now to men. Because Jesus was the the fulfillment mm -hmm. of the Passover lamb mm -hmm. in Exodus. Because they remember back in Exodus, yeah. they took the lamb and Evan, they slew the lamb mm -hmm. and they painted the, the blood mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. door on mm -hmm. the doorways. Mm -hmm. And then the death angel passed through mm -hmm. so that then all who were within the walls mm -hmm. of where the blood was covered, mm -hmm. their they were delivered, their firstborn mm -hmm. did not die mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. Jesus was coming as God's firstborn to offer himself as the sacrifice for humanity. So he paid the price as God's firstborn to save us from the, the just penalty of our own sin. So this is the amazing power and beauty of what is happening here because Jesus himself now would be the Passover lamb. What they did with a physical lamb in Exodus, Jesus was now the lamb of God who came to take away the sin okay. of humanity that we could be reconciled and reconnected with God. All right, so you just took me to school and took me to church all in the same breath because I remember reading those stories. I remember watching the movie. It was a big thing in the whole story. So I watched, I forget the name of it. Was it the Passover? Or I the forget the, or the cru really crucifixion or something. The I forget. Yes. Passion of Christ. The Passion yeah. of or Christ. The passion, right. Yes. Yeah. Um, I could tell you that story that that read that I see it right now in my in my in my yeah. sight. But you the the, the correlation or the connection. Sure of the sacrificial lamb in the Old Testament and now Jesus being that that physical lamb now just kind of okay I just that tied me thank you for that thank you for that so so the the and I understand now the significance of the the death and him dying on the cross and being the lamb right that is the lamb that's the power that, that of is this the, thing yes. you know that he died in our place because here is the other beauty with this why a lamb Mm -hmm. A lamb is the innocence of a lamb. Mm -hmm. A lamb is, they say, the, the again, humility, mm -hmm. the centerpiece of Christian faith. Mm -hmm. And this is, again, what we are missing when we are Christians. You're seeing Christians and leaders today full of pomp and pride yeah. and think, yeah. ah, that's completely opposite to love because you can't love others if you don't put others first. Yeah. And, and the essence of the gospel is about the love of God. Yeah. And to love, it has to be birth out of a heart, a posture of humility. So the lamb is the meekest of all animals. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it is said that when, when you are killing a lamb, 
They don't even cry. They don't make a noise. They don't fight. They don't resist. They're Unlike trying. some other, other animals, mm -hmm. they just go as a lamb to the slaughter. Meekly they go mm -hmm. and you crucify him. Mm -hmm. That's how Jesus came as a lamb. Because the lamb is also innocent mm -hmm. and pure. The white of the mm -hmm. wool mm -hmm. speaks of purity. Mm -hmm. And the spirit of the lamb speaks of innocence. And so therefore, it is an innocent sacrifice mm -hmm. that is being offered to make atonement, which is a nice word mm -hmm. that really means to cover for, mm -hmm. to cover for. Mm -hmm. So he came as the lamb to make a covering so that we who are covered by his blood, mm. we can find forgiveness mm. and therefore enter into a relationship mm. with God. Mm -hmm. So it is about the innocence mm -hmm. of the sacrifice, mm -hmm. the lamb. And the lamb, therefore, when his blood was shed, mm -hmm. then it is that blood that was poured on the lintel. That blood now is poured out before God okay. because Jesus became the sacrificial lamb to the connect us. The sacrificial lamb to connect us. I mean, you, you just, I really, I, I'm putting two and two together. Yeah. I'm, li I'm, look, I'm reliving my Bible lessons and stuff like that, and you're yeah. just kind of giving me clarity, so I thank you for that. Um, and before, before we go deeper into our celebration of uh, um, Easter, Easter. Um, mm -hmm. we're going to jump to a quick commercial break and more with Reverend Miller when we come back. Welcome back to Chasing Purpose and happy and blessed Easter to everyone out there celebrating. Whether you are here in Jamaica, listening on the Bridge I-9 FM or in the New York Tri-State area on Irie Jam Radio. We are joined by the Reverend Al Miller today and we're talking about the resurrection of Christ. I want to shift the focus a bit to everyday mm -hmm. life, right? As we're talking about the events that led up to um, denial and betrayal that happened um, throughout the, the, the course of the, the, these weeks, right? Um, denial and betrayal is something that is almost second nature here in society. We, mm -hmm. we, can't, get, we can't get away from it. Yeah. Why, do you, why do you think that's so? Why? Sin, it is the reality of our humanity, mm -hmm. the weakness side of our humanity because neither must we believe that that it was the intention of God because mm -hmm. we were created to be like God. Mm -hmm. That's why we're celebrating this whole season. Mm -hmm. It is to enable us to reconnect, to become who we were intended to be. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we have become, rather than love, mm -hmm. which is other-centered, the focus was shifted in the fall of man to become self-centered. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we view life and look at life by what affects us. Mm -hmm. And it is that self-centeredness that becomes the cause of our betrayal, of our denials, mm -hmm. and the way we treat each other because we are not putting others as the priority yeah. and the central focus of life. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is at the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. So if we want to get better, mm -hmm. it is learning to take the, the center of focus mm -hmm. from self mm -hmm. and putting it on others. Now, it is how do we do that? Yeah. But that's the root of the problem, man. We are self-centered. We only look after moi, yeah. my number one yeah, and yeah. that's the danger mm -hmm. have you have you ever felt on your journey um, whether it be before your calling as a reverend throughout have you ever felt um, betrayed along your way <laughs> or denied sister I me fi tell you <laughs> 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 or oh, that happens repeatedly sadly mm -hmm. it it is all too often, mm -hmm. but we've got to learn how to manage it yes. so that it does not destroy us. But certainly have, have been betrayed in family. Mm -hmm. It has happened in with co-workers. Mm -hmm. It has mm -hmm. happened with leadership. Mm -hmm. It has happened with many of our own people. Mm -hmm. It happened with fellow ministers. Mm -hmm. It happens with government. Mm -hmm. It happens all female with police. Mm -hmm. So in my lifestyle, we have run the gamut yeah. of having to deal with betrayal and denial. 
but how do we respond? That's my question to you. How how do you respond? How how does how does an individual? Let's say we talk to a, 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 a young person that's wanting mm. to open up his ministry now. He's 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 he has the calling. He's gotten the anointing. He has the appointing. Now he's running full speed ahead to open up his church to be a leader in his space. He's gonna oh, buck up in a serious. denial. He's gonna buck up in the betrayal. How do you how does he work through that? The critical element is back to what we talked about, the mm. spirit of the lamb. Mm. Humility. Mm. If there is not a natural working of humility of heart, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. So it's that posture of humility, mm -hmm. of recognizing one yourself mm -hmm. and don't think you are as hot as you think you are mm -hmm. realizing the limitations in your own humanity mm -hmm. and recognizing the greater than you mm -hmm. which is what brings us into the love of God mm -hmm. because what you're going to need to be able to handle the betrayal mm -hmm. is let love rise to the fore which yeah. is what simply not the, not the Hollywood stuff yeah. the feel that you feel that you never feel until yeah. you feel the feel <laughs> that you feel yeah. it is really rising to put others first mm -hmm. and take the posture of humility mm -hmm. then you can smile at some of that negativity mm -hmm. that gets thrown at you so that's the core of the matter but the second or maybe the third if you want thing that will help us to deal with it is what this program is about mm. purpose. purpose if you don't have a clear sense of purpose mm -hmm then the pressures that comes will shake you. Mm -hmm. But when you know your purpose mm -hmm. and know what you're about and know yourself mm -hmm. and who you are mm -hmm. and why you are doing what you are doing, then you can humble yourself and let that sense of purpose, which is always others driven, mm -hmm. because purpose should not find its end mm -hmm. in Thank yourself. You. It cannot. One round of applause, yes. it cannot. There's no way. That's the whole reason that Take the Purpose was built. There's no way that I'm supposed to know my purpose and it ends here with me. It cannot. If not, you haven't found your purpose. You don't know why you exist. I need an air horn, a bullhorn, you know? something. So that's now what keeps you going, man. Yes. And it drives you yes. so that you don't even hold the evil against them. Yes. Because the bigger picture is what you feel it is driving yeah. you yeah. and so therefore you know that boy you have to deal with some of that along the journey yeah. but you are prepared to forgive yeah. because that unforgiveness will trap you mm -hmm. from loving because you cannot love with purity and remain with unforgiveness and bitterness and anger in your heart mm -hmm. they don't work together no. so it is understanding these truths that there is an interesting verse of scripture that says you shall know the truth Mm -hmm. And the truth sets you free. Mm -hmm. So what liberates you is truth. truth. So the more you no discover it. No matter how it, hard it is. Because a lot of people of can't course. handle the truth, you know. They can't handle it. A lot of people cannot handle the truth. It is how yeah. you handle it. But it will set you free. It will set you free. No two ways, yeah. man. And But it works mm -hmm. with the spirit of humility mm. and the power of love. Mm. If you divorce them mm. from it, then even the truth cuts you wow. and so you begin to get angry over the yes, truth yes. because the humility is not there because to accept truth requires a posture of humility talk to me about posture right the the i always hear about your heart posture your posture in the lord for those who are unclear mm -hmm. what what does it mean to to have a, a heart posture or, a, or any posture, posture. Mm -hmm. yeah it's really about an attitude mm -hmm. it, it really rooted in taking the correct attitude mm -hmm. if you want a correct posture of heart it is that settled position that you take mm -hmm. by choosing to have a positive attitude which goes back to that powerful word again love if you allow love to dominate and this is why we were created to be like God mm -hmm. God is love mm -hmm. and we that were made love. to be love mm -hmm. like God mm -hmm. and when we have that posture mm -hmm. of love the the spirit mm -hmm. of the love of God mm -hmm. then having a posture of humility mm -hmm. and an attitude that enables you to stay on top of your game mm -hmm. becomes easy yeah. 
but until the love rise to dominance, it will always be a challenge. Let, let's, let's shift to, to love, um, which is all-encompassing. God is love, right? If you, if you know God, if you're a believer, at the root of everything, <laughs> whatever you believe mm -hmm. in is love, should be mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. um, and let's talk about love in the society. We're in a society now where it would see um, school, school children stabbing them one another. Um, recently up in New York, a young lady was, um, was killed over an, uh, uh, in, in, an argument. And a, a six, what I don't know what a sixteen-year-old, yeah. what they could be arguing over, yeah. but I believe he, in here in Jamaica, where, wherever in the world, New York, Tri-State, wherever in the world, we have lost the love. The yeah. love just in the. I don't, I don't know what's there. I'm not sure if it's hate or if we're if we, we lack the humility to to have a, mm -hmm. a normal conversation to work things out. Mm -hmm. But we where, how do we how do we get back to where it was? Um, a sense that where love was there, where in a yeah. time where you or my father were being raised, where you were able, your neighbor, you actually loved your yeah. neighbor as yourself. Yeah. It's so critical then because it, it's, we have to revisit the values mm. that we are inculcating in a generation. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. we overlook the values, then we are going to create problems mm -hmm. because any building is only as good as, foundation. as the foundation. So if you don't lay the foundation in a child mm -hmm. correctly, mm -hmm. you are going to have problems. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how we as a nation and a society, mm -hmm. and with all the expertise we have, mm -hmm. they will quickly tell you that the science have told us mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. character of mm -hmm. a child mm -hmm. is shaped by age seven. Mm -hmm and very little happens after that. Now, mm -hmm. if we say we know that, mm -hmm. then it should inform what happens between zero to seven. Yep. Yep. So we should be laying those foundation, mm -hmm. fundamental values mm -hmm. that's going to help, which go back to be rooted in love, mm -hmm. in caring for one another, in forgiving one another, mm -hmm. in working through issues, mm -hmm. in teaching a child to be obedient mm -hmm. and to learn to not just trust themselves. Mm -hmm. That's the key to mm -hmm. obedience, you know. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, that is the most powerful lesson that needs to be taught, but we don't realize mm -hmm. that that is the foundation of our lack of ability to love. Mm -hmm. Because the issue of obedience is to break your self-will, mm -hmm. that you don't just think about you. Yeah. It's like a horse. I, I used to be a cowboy farming mm, over the years in our cow pork <laughs> business. But when they are to break in a wild horse, mm -hmm. it is that the, the work that the cowboy goes through mm -hmm. to break the horse because the horse has tremendous strength mm -hmm. and power, the greatest animal when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. But that power is of no good to anybody unless you can bring it under control. Mm. The value of the human being is only as good to humanity as he can bring himself mm. or herself wow. under control. Wow. It's about self-control. Wow. But what enables you to get self-control? Mm -hmm. You have to learn obedience. Mm -hmm. Where you learn obedience? Mm -hmm. From your dead from, from mama yeah. breast. Yes. You yes. have to be learning yes. obey. Parents yes. have to let the children know. No yes. means no. Yes. And if they violate no, yes. you have to find a way to shake them yes. into reality, yes. to restrict them like that, like you have to do with a horse. Mm -hmm. to bring him under subjection. Once that fundamental lesson is learned, then you begin to learn to control self. Mm -hmm. And when you control self, it is easier to relate to others. Then when I get angry, mm -hmm. I learn to control myself. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I am not just going to go at you because I've learned also another value, mm -hmm. to love you. Mm -hmm. So let's reason out what's, what, what's the, um, yeah, what's the yeah, problem yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So it's just back to those fundamental principles of obedience, learning to love, to build trust. Where that foundation is in a life, mm -hmm. we don't have the kinds of problems that, that are now. overtaking us. Are we setting a firm foundation? That's the question I'm leaving you with as we head into break. Are you setting a firm foundation? At the, at the, at the core of that foundation is love there, obedience there, discipline, and trust. More on Chasing Purpose when we return. Chasing 
purpose, we are talking about Easter. We're celebrating, not talking about, we're celebrating Easter and what it means to us. Um, and the principles and just the, what, the values, the values and the reason that we're here, our purpose. I mean, I'm so filled with this conversation. I thank you, Reverend, for bringing clarity to um, the season that we're in. Now, prior to the Easter season is the Lenten season. And in Lent, many of us use that for fasting, right? Um, mm -hmm. Why is fasting important to spiritual life? Okay, the element of fasting fits within sacrifice. Mm. It's the principle of, of sacrifice. So you really, by fasting, you're denying yourself physical food in the interest of your spiritual growth. Mm. But the word sacrifice in the Hebrew, and the, which is the original language of the, the, the scriptures, mm -hmm. Hebrew is the base in a word they call korban, mm -hmm. which means to get close to. Mm. So the purpose of sacrifice is to get us close to. Okay. In our case, we are sacrificing to get close to God. Yeah, this okay. is why all them sacrifices you saw in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. where they required having to kill, mm -hmm. burnt offering, mm -hmm. this offering. Mm -hmm. All sacrifices is to get close to. Mm -hmm. So the question always is, we are making a sacrifice to get close to, to God. But we often don't think that God more so wants to get close to us. That's why he sent his son Jesus to die for us because he wants to get close to us. It was to restore us. Mm -hmm. So this is the power of, of at least what we are communicating with Lent mm -hmm. and every kind of sacrifice, whether that is in our offerings, mm -hmm. because your offering is a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's why you give of your substance to God, mm -hmm. because you're giving of what you have. You are saying to God, I want to get close to you. I want to see your purposes fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to give of my time, mm -hmm. talent, ability, mm -hmm. and treasure mm -hmm. to see your kingdom purposes advance. Mm -hmm. That's what it is about, sacrifice. And so God says he loves sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And even when we go to worship, mm -hmm. worship is about offering unto him mm -hmm. the sacrifice of our praise with the fruit of our lips. Mm -hmm. And God says when you bring your sacrifice of praise, he inhabits it. He draws near to it. It's sacrifice. And so sacrifice is power. And it is the place of our willingness to pay a price mm -hmm. to get close. Okay. Yes. As you know, that's why men like to give to the women diamonds <laughs> and pearls. It's all saying, I just want to be close. <laughs> it's about okay, close. guys. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, something that I have been toying with for, for some time. Um, and it has been a topic of debate in my household. Um, the physical body going to church now if god is love love is within me mm -hmm. right this idea like growing up i had to be in church every sunday it doesn't matter if i was sick or not it don't matter get up mm -hmm. you're going to church if you're and if living in my parents household if i got down tonight before it don't matter get up you're going to church your body had to be in church i am not of that mindset right now mm -hmm. right i um i tithe um i do i make sure to tithe every week um, I, and even with COVID now and, and having, right. you know, yeah. everything moving online, mm -hmm. I am torn between going back to church versus just kind of doing my yeah. devotion on my own time, mm -hmm. doing my worship on my own mm -hmm. time. What yeah. is the mindset there? Good point. Very good point. The, it's first we got to go, it's the principle. Mm -hmm. Back to the principle of what? Sacrifice. Am I prepared to make a sacrifice? to get close to God. Mm. God has set a place where he says we should meet with him. Mm -hmm. And that is in the place of assembling with others. Because remember, it's about love too. It's not just about ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is also for fellowship with others mm -hmm. so that we can grow and mature in learning to love. Mm -hmm. Because you can't love if you keep yourself to yourself by yourself. Okay. So you need the, the community. Mm -hmm 
with which to identify, to develop the principle and the habit of loving. Mm -hmm. But neither should we give the impression that I can't have a relationship with mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. without every single day going. Mm -hmm. No, that mustn't be the mindset either. But neither should we can't bother yeah. Because yeah. what no, no, we are not doing, a here, no, no, no yeah, we know, yeah. but many mm -hmm. kind of do that. He mm -hmm. just wants to be sure that's not it. Mm -hmm. It's the heart mm -hmm. attitude mm -hmm. that must maintain. I recognize the importance mm -hmm. of sacrificing regularly to go specially meet with God. And there's another good point in it mm -hmm. that there is a kind of flow of the blessing of the anointing of God mm -hmm. that comes in the corporate with others mm -hmm. that you can't really enjoy by, by yourself. yourself. And the second important thing is, and this is perhaps more significant, mm -hmm. is where you need to be exposed to where you're being taught and built up and encouraged. Mm -hmm. And we encourage one another. Mm -hmm. Because not only do you, I can sit at home and get encouraged by listening, mm -hmm. but there is some when I need to, be encouraging others, mm -hmm. which you can't do if you don't maintain an environment mm -hmm. of fellowship with others mm -hmm. so that you can be a blessing to them mm -hmm. and they be, be a, blessing. a blessing to you. Okay. So there's one scripture that Paul actually said, do not forsake the assembling mm -hmm. of yourselves mm -hmm. together, especially when you see the end of time coming together. Mm -hmm. But like I say, it's for the right reasons. Yeah. It's not just slavishly that I have to get up and move. Yeah. Because if yeah. I can't get up and move this morning, yeah. come on, man, you yeah. are not bound. Yeah. You are free. Yeah. So therefore you do, but you must know the principle so that I don't just abandon it, mm -hmm. but I let it fit in the flow of my life mm -hmm. to accomplish the purpose that I'm saying to God, I want to get close to you. Yes. So every opportunity to be with God and his people People, I am meeting. Mm -hmm. I am meeting for it mm -hmm. because let me just say one more mm -hmm. thing on it. The, the, it's not we have restricted church to be a place simply to meet with God. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's the center to meet with God, mm -hmm. but equal of importance is to meet with others yeah. because life mm -hmm. is in relationships. Mm -hmm. And so you are entering into relationships to show the life of God, mm -hmm. to show the love of God and to practice. So that's the value added to it. But we must maintain in good balance mm -hmm. with your responsibility. Some people, their work, mm -hmm. don't allow them to mm -hmm. be there as regularly. Mm -hmm. But we mustn't consider them less than those who up and gone every morning. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if you are out there as business people, for instance, because mm -hmm. we have to be trying to free up the business people. Mm -hmm. Some business people have to be out there mm -hmm. to, they are, they are kings who have to create the wealth. Mm -hmm. Now, and you, queens. And, <coughs> beg pardon, <laughs> and the queens do have to be there. Yeah. So you have to know, therefore, you have to manage your time more mm -hmm. efficiently, but is handling it for where your heart is right. Mm -hmm. And one's heart right, mm -hmm. And you being responsible, then man, you're good to go. Good to go. All right, so I'm good to go, guys. So I wanna get. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. I wanna talk about belief, right? Let's look to the scriptures. There is a woman in the Bible who um, was suffering with an illness, a ble some sort of bleeding mm -hmm. issue, yes. um, and suffered with it for some time. Now her thought process was, I need to rid myself of this illness. And I hear of this man, his name is Jesus Christ, he's coming to town, I need to get to him mm -hmm. in order to heal myself. Yes. She did just that. Mm -hmm. And she didn't, she didn't I'm, not sure, I'm not even sure if she was able to have a conversation with him, but she was able to touch, yes. not even his body, just yes. his cloak is what yes. I'm understanding. Right. And she was healed. Yes. And that came through her believing, through belief. Yes. Let's talk about the importance of belief. Wow. Believing is everything. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. prior to the coming of Christ, the men draw close to God mm -hmm. by their works because they were disconnected. And so they could not have intimacy directly with God. Mm -hmm. So they made sacrifices, etc. Christ has now come. Mm -hmm. He has paid the price. Mm -hmm. So there is no more works that we can do to satisfy God. Mm -hmm. What? Because Christ has done all that was necessary. The full price 
to satisfy the just requirements of God's law was met. Mm -hmm. So that now, because of what he has done, all God requires is faith mm -hmm. to believe. And it is not, however, that belief is new mm -hmm. because that's what God always required. Mm -hmm. But it is, it would be too long for us to get into what man did that broke it. Mm -hmm. So he started adding work to it. But it was always about faith mm -hmm. to trust God. So faith is powerful mm -hmm. because to have faith is to have complete trust and confidence in. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it is only in God that you can have that kind of complete trust and confidence because God is who he says he is. Mm -hmm. He will do what he says he will do. And so when you have absolute confidence in him, that he will do what he says he will do because he cannot lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, the possibility does not exist. And so complete trust and confidence in God, which we show by our obedience to the word, then moves God. Because God then says he responds to our faith. Mm -hmm. If you trust me, meaning if you believe that I am who I say I am, mm -hmm. and I will do what I say I will do, mm -hmm. whatever you ask, you will get it mm. because you are showing you trust me. Because mm. what follows faith? If you trust, you will obey. Mm. Ah, those obey. two can't be separated. One is the expression of the other. They are like mm. two sides of the same mm. coin. So that's the only way you show to God that you will obey him and pursue your what? Purpose. Purpose. Because pursue you must purpose. have faith. Yeah that he is with you and will guide you in the pursuit of your purpose. So this is why even when problems arise, you must have the faith in the God who gave you your purpose mm -hmm. to keep on pursuing mm -hmm. because he gave me my purpose. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep doing what I must do because I trust him. Mm -hmm. So obedience and faith go on. This is the power of faith. Mm -hmm. So she had faith and showed her faith in God. And God says, look, man, that kind of faith. I have to honor it mm. because you are putting your complete trust in me, then I will do all that I have promised already mm. and I'm already fully disposed yeah. to do for you. Yeah. So it's a guarantee. So when you bring faith, mm -hmm. pure faith mm -hmm. back to God, mm -hmm. it's a guarantee because could I even say to you, even God operates by faith. Mm. Well. He had to have faith yeah. in himself. Yeah. So when he says, let there be, be light, light, ah, it was. Yeah. So faith wow. is the action side yeah. of the power of God. Yeah. So whereas in the world we do things with our hands yeah. and we use our hands yeah. for most things, mm -hmm. with God, he does everything by faith, mm -hmm. so he speaks a word. Mm -hmm. And it, as he speaks the word, it is. Mm -hmm. And we too, when we learn faith, mm -hmm. We have to realize that's why when you have faith in God, mm -hmm. you can begin to declare things mm -hmm. and speak them and they become reality. Mm -hmm. Because faith is what connects us from the natural mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. spiritual. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that connects you from the natural to the spiritual. So faith becomes everything mm -hmm. in life. And the coming of Easter is, in, is about God sending Jesus mm -hmm to prove his love for us mm -hmm. so that we could restore trust in him, which is another word for mm -hmm. faith, to restore trust in him mm -hmm. that he can do for us all that he says. We can get close to us mm -hmm. and we get close to him. Mm -hmm. And when two people get close, yes. man and wife, yes. Lord of mercy, <laughs> that's what closeness brings. Yes. It produces life. Yes. It brings joy. Yes. It brings fulfillment. Yes. And that's the essence. So much was said there, all positive things, all things. That, I mean, this is the reasoning that I wanted to have this sit down with you to give us this clarity um, and also give us the knowledge and the wisdom that I believe a lot of us young people um, um, need. Right. So on, on the other side of this break, we're going to continue to pursue our purpose. More on Chasing Purpose with the Reverend Al Miller. Welcome back 
to Chasing Purpose, heard right here on the Bridge 99 FM in Jamaica and in the New York Tri-State area on Irie Jam Radio. Happy and blessed Easter again to you all celebrating. We are joined by the Reverend Al Miller, who has been giving us some amazing insight and wisdom on the celebration of Easter and just all the things that we should be um, encompassing, our setting our firm foundation, trusting ourselves, having obedience and discipline um, all these things that we need to be um, looking at, even as we're raising our children. You know, I speak a lot about raising youth and what we should be doing as parents and instilling these things into our youth, making sure they have a firm foundation so that, you know, we can get back on track as it pertains to having love as a society, right? Absolutely. Love is at the core and the root of the root, everything. everything. Absolutely. It is love. Reverend, are you chasing your purpose or have you found your purpose? Found my purpose. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me do yeah. what I do. Yeah. It makes me get up every morning and I'm pursuing it. And with the grace of God, nothing can stop me. No matter what you do, yeah. we've got to fulfill purpose because life is about purpose. Mm. God created man with purpose, for purpose. And so the first thing we must discover for our lives mm -hmm is our purpose. Mm -hmm. I like to say that you're not ready to live until you have discovered your purpose. Wow. You see, you're not ready for life. Wow. Because if you don't, you will make wrong choices mm -hmm. with the rest of mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. You see, so purpose is everything. And so I think I am endeavoring to live my purpose, mm -hmm. you know, which is, it's twofold, if I was to put it that way. One is certainly to, to fulfill the, the advancing of the kingdom of the living God. Mm -hmm. And in the pursuit of the advancing of the kingdom of God is to see to the best welfare or to seek, as Jesus says, the best welfare of humanity. Mm -hmm. So that makes it therefore have to be about the best welfare of people and begin with my own nation. Mm -hmm. So I'm after what do we need to do mm -hmm. to make this nation the best that this nation can be, mm -hmm. that the nation can fulfill her purpose. Yeah. What is her purpose? Mm -hmm. Our founding fathers mm -hmm. told us. Mm -hmm. That's why the, the national anthem, not the one pledge. Mm -hmm. And in the center of it, it says that Jamaica may under God advance the welfare mm -hmm. of the whole human race. Mm -hmm. Now, how are we going to do that? Mm -hmm. We have to discover and do the things that are necessary mm -hmm. to position us to be able to fulfill our purpose as a nation. But the national purpose is tied into individual purpose. Mm -hmm. So as we raise a society of people who find their individual purpose, which must find its center mm -hmm. in becoming like the God who created us to live love mm -hmm. and walk love, and if we live love and walk love, then we will use our gifts, talents, and abilities mm -hmm. to serve one another. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we can be evidence to the world of our life to live mm -hmm. and help to make the world a better place. Yes. You know? so yes, yes, it, and it's yes to there. all of that. The, the, this being of service. Right, I think it's something that is extremely important and critical um, to the transformation of um, the world. Yes, here the society and the nation, but the broader world, right. that mindset of being of service. Or bigger than that, um, while loving yourself, but also loving the other, other person, person, right? Making critical. sure that you're taking care of, oh. and it's not just about being self-centered, me, 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 I, 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 but what about you, breaking bread with you, making sure that my brother is okay, that I Absolute. am my brother's, we're no longer are we our brother's keeper. And that's where the breakdown has yeah. come. And yeah. we talked about it in the earlier segment. Mm -hmm. That's it, we're not loving and caring for each other. We must recognize I am my brother's keeper yeah. because that's part of being me. Yeah. Because there's one song that says, there is no me. Mm -hmm without you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got to see that there is no me without you mm -hmm. because we were born in community. We all came out of God mm -hmm. and so all together mm -hmm. must become one. Mm -hmm. And this is what's driving my own passion right now for my nation, for national transformation. How are we as a people will transform our nation 
to return to the kind of society that we can develop our abilities, our skills, a society where there is justice for all, mm. a society where there is equality, mm. a society where we will then show to the world and give to the world mm. what God gave us to give to the world. We must get our nation back on track. Do you think that's going to, I mean, I, I don't see where that is going to be an easy feat. And maybe this is me playing devil's advocate. I feel like we've, we're, we're, we've veered so far oh. off course. We're yeah. talking about um, men um, raping women. We're talking about um, children killing children. Yes. We're talking about just incest. We're talking about just, just the, the most blasphemous things. Yes. How do we get back to a place of love? How do we transform yes. or change the mindset of, mm -hmm. of the person to get back to a place where I am okay with sending my daughter out without mm -hmm. having beings fear, uh, uh, having fear that she something may happen to her Absolutely. or that I can leave my front door open no the way that I know my parents would have grown up yeah. here in the Caribbean. Okay. How do we get back here? Not, not easy, Sin. Don't let us pretend, man, mm -hmm. because we have gone off course. Mm -hmm. But to get back on course, we have to have a map mm -hmm. that guide us back to it. Mm -hmm. If we do not identify that map and agree to that that map is able to take us back on course, we will never get back on course. Mm -hmm. So that's where it begins. But if we are prepared to do what we ought to do, it is not as difficult as it seems. Mm -hmm. what, where the difficulty is, is to create unity for us to be agreed and committed to that single purpose. And that's the question I think all of us as a society must wrestle with right now. What is that cause that we can get a hold of to unite us so that we can pursue purpose and make this nation a better place? And I think it's what we have to answer. I don't think that we necessarily have agreed on it. I'm struggling with it myself. I have some ideas, mm -hmm. but we really have to find it. Because what you said a moment ago is the essence of this transformational dream mm -hmm. and passion that drives me mm -hmm. for my country. Mm -hmm. And to change it, we came up with a phrase mm -hmm. that we had used when we started the transformation program some years ago, thinking change mm -hmm. for behavioral change. Thinking change for behavioral change. Because if we don't change the way our people think, mm -hmm. then we cannot change behavior. Mm -hmm. And this is why the education process is critical. Mm -hmm. Parenting mm -hmm. is yes, critical. Yes, yes, and if yes. we shift focus mm -hmm. to be more concentrating mm -hmm. on education mm -hmm. of our people mm -hmm. and the strengthening of the family mm -hmm. to again for what? For education mm -hmm. of the children. If we don't do that, we will never achieve it and we'll only keep veering further and further from the path. So if we have hope, if we're going to have hope, mm -hmm. it means going back to that base. And that's where I believe we can do it. Mm -hmm. And it is not as crazy as it looks, but we must be committed to that common path, you know, and finding the cause that will get us there. Sometimes it's trouble. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's cat cat catastrophe, mm -hmm. unfortunately. but. We don't want to have something cataclysmic yeah. to be able to yeah. bring us there because yeah. that comes with so much pain. We really just need to recognize mm -hmm. it, man, and knock our heads and say, come on, let's find the cause, yeah. let's work towards a cause, mm -hmm. and let's push us towards getting there. Mm -hmm. And this period of Easter, mm -hmm. the celebration of the Passover, mm -hmm. is that which is uniting us because what is the Passover about? Mm -hmm. It is about the fact that God so loved the world mm, that he that gave. He gave. Oh and God, what Jesus right. says to us, therefore, as a result, mm -hmm. one commandment I leave for you, only one. That's he says, I distill everything. Mm -hmm. Only one thing I'm asking of you, mm -hmm. which he has made possible mm -hmm. by reconnecting us through his blood. Mm -hmm. He says, love one yeah, another yeah. as I have loved you. Yeah. Is the, we say a Jamaica, you mm -hmm. lick that. Mm -hmm. We just have to get back to the love to thing. The love, yeah. Bob Marley have it right. Yeah. We just yeah. have to love, love. man. Yeah. One love. Yeah. One love. Yeah. Can we let our people gather yeah. and galvanize yeah. Yeah. around one love. One love. One, one love. love I. One love. one love. And that's the key. Yeah. And that's the message of Easter. Yeah. It's that God loved mm -hmm. and therefore we must love. Mm. Love is at the root 
of it all. Rev Miller, I, um, I'm so filled and I had an absolute awesome conversation with you, a candid one, a thought provoking one, which is the aim here on Chasing Purpose. Um, I'm gonna ask you to lead us out in prayer. Okay, let's pray together. Father, we wanna thank you that you love us. Thank you for this wonderful season to ever reminding us that you loved us so that we now must love one another. So Father, I pray your blessing upon each of our lives. Help us together to obey the principles of your word by loving one another, by making the sacrifice to change our own hearts and lives that we can be agents of change. So bless this season for each of us. Make it the greatest Easter we have ever had. God bless you. Remember, live love, or we do it. Only we can create the change. God bless you.